Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and I wanted to talk to you today about an update to Claymore Dual Miner and uh, it just got released today, May 8th, 2019, which is really nice. Uh, and it's got a couple of tweaks and improvements that I wanted to go over with you and kind of just read off to you. Now you can obviously go to the page itself. We all know Claymore Miner, or you should by now if you're mining Ethereum. Um, and it will be linked in the description below, not only the thread, but where you can actually download this version. Now this is Claymore Dual Ethereum Miner. Uh, well, we know it's a dual miner. And it's version 14 beta. Now, of course, with any beta application, there's a lot of tweaks or optimizations. Not a lot, but there would be a few tweaks or optimizations that could be done to improve every version you release as a developer. So I'm sure with the community's help, the devs, uh, can fine-tune it but I'm interested to see how this one performs now this version for only Windows at this present moment has added the ability to apply optimize memory timings or straps on the fly without flashing the V BIOS which is great for those who are intimidated by flashing a V BIOS now a lot of uh, mining operating systems like uh, Hive OS and I believe Simple OS and, and many others allow you the ability to flash the VBIOS of your AMD graphics cards. Um, in a mining sense, I don't see too many people flashing an NVIDIA BIOS, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. But AMD, many have gotten quite a, a, quite a decent improvement by flashing the VBIOS on their AMD cards. Now obviously you want to know what you're doing but for those who do flash the VBIOS you can see a significant gain but Claymore has taken some of the stress out of that by allowing you to optimize memory timings on the fly without even having to flash the VBIOS. Now they're saying here that we can get close to up to 20% compared to the stock BIOS as far as performance improvement so if you got a stock which I've seen this with the RX 590 Fatboy from XFX um, the stock BIOS compared to the optimized memory straps, uh, I did see a pretty good gain. I can't say a percentage, but it was a pretty decent gain. Now, this optimization or capability is only available on Windows, Polaris cards, and it must have a driver, driver version 18 point something. So like the latest AMD driver, I believe, 18 point something or newer. Um, they say the best straps for Ethereum are included within uh, the Claymore version 14 and here's the command line algorithm that you can use. So check dash strap and dash driver options for details. Now they also added uh, something for Radeon 7 uh, which is uh, temperature, fans, and clock management and I've seen that's that's good because in many of the applications that I've seen or worked with, uh, not only was the RX 590 not supported, but the Radeon 7 was not supported. Uh, and that's kind of bad, especially so the, those are the most recent AMD cards, I guess you could say. Uh, so Claymore has added that management capabilities to their miner. They also obviously fixed some bugs and uh, made some improvements and they fixed the fan control for the latest Windows AMD driver. So this is this latest version of, of Claymore is more for Windows at the present moment um, and uh, AMD. That's, that's the primary two candidates here for this update. Uh, however, you can go test it out for yourself. I might test it. I do have my main rig running on uh, Ethereum or excuse me, Claymore Miner version 12 or the latest version of 12 and I will be testing it against 14. I might just do it on this rig. Matter of fact, um, let me do some quick testing. I'll come back to the video and see if I can show you some results. The latest version of Claymore Miner did pretty much nothing for NVIDIA. Uh, this is version 12. I just uh, ran it for a little bit. Um, and then version 14, same thing. So roughly the same. Uh, I'm sure there's some optimizations that I can do because I was using the ETH largement pill um, for the 1080 Ti. You, know, you can only use that on, on cards that run GDDR5X, but 
uh, is pretty much the same for NVIDIA. This re recent release is more improvements for AMD graphics cards on Windows platforms, which is what I highlighted earlier, what I mentioned earlier. I'd be interested to see um, what others get performance-wise, especially from an AMD perspective. But in the README file, um, you know, you can use Dash Driver, like I mentioned earlier, to install or uninstall drivers, which require to apply like memory timing straps uh, or close miner after it, all that good stuff. Um, the dash strap uh, command uh, applies a specific or specified memory timings or strap. Uh, this option is only available in Windows only, AMD drivers 18 or higher. Uh, most tests were performed on 19.4.3 and only supported on AMD Polaris, which again we mentioned earlier. Miner has built in strap database. All straps are separated by 4 or 8 gigabyte memory type, Samsung. Uh, you know, HK, SK Inix, um, Micron, uh, and the other one there. Uh, straps are sorted by intensity. Strap 1 supports higher memory clock than strap 2. For the best hash rate, you should also set high memory clock to strap 1. It's a good starting place. So it's going to take um, a little bit of playing around, but I'm, I'm interested primarily because... Uh, according to what Claymore says and this is if you're mining Ethereum right because this Claymore miner is built for Ethereum and of course the uh, the cred, Sidecoin uh, and the others but memory straps can also be applied to mine uh, other algorithms like CryptoKnight and the various uh, or the different variations of it so I'm interested to see how that can be optimized or applied or what have you but you don't have to flash the VBIOS Claymore has a new version that allows you to optimize the straps or the, the memory timings uh, without having the flash to VBIOS, which should be a benefit for those who, again, are intimidated or uh, don't really want to touch their VBIOS for fear of bricking their video card. But the links to the descri uh, in the description is going to be links in there for this article where you can just read more information. I would just download it and read the README file, and you can download it with the link that's also going to be in the description. Check it out for yourself. If you're an AMD, if you mine on AMD cards, I would love to hear from you, uh, get your thoughts and opinions on it. I'm, in I'm interested to see if uh, BBT Carter or uh, any of the other guys that I watch, Seth Estrada, and, and there's plenty of, I, I can't name them all, but I'm interested to see what they do. Because um, I know there's been a lot of talk and there's been a lot of content uh, related to how to optimize your memory uh, or straps for your AMD graphics cards and this kind of aids that uh, without having to flash the VBIOS uh, but only for mining Ethereum and those other um, secondary coins not so much for uh, optimizations for other algos that AMD may be uh, good mm -hmm. at mining so I'm interested to see how that plays mm -hmm. out besides that like share subscribe comment all that good jazz let me know what you think below and I will catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching